Hello, it's your friend Phil, Project Management Trainer and Coach. Welcome to the quick review of the ITTO Science Tools and Techniques ebook. This is an ebook that will sensitize you to the tools and techniques in the PEMBOK guide. It's arranged in alphabetical order and it's a tool and technique centric view of the PEMBOK guide. This is how it works. You see a tool and technique on the left. You see the arrow telling you it's a tool and technique used in a particular process. So let me ask you the question. Acquisition is a tool and technique used in what process? Did any answer come to mind? If not, that could be looked at as a gap. Something you need to close by opening up the PEMBOK guide, finding out the definition, and anchoring it back to the process that it's used in. So this is a tool and technique of Acquire Project Team. Here's another one. Additional quality planning tools is a tool and technique used in. If nothing comes to mind, it's an opportunity for you to learn where this is used. The answer is plan quality management. So you kind of get the idea. This is arranged in alphabetical order. We're going to skip a few now and go to an example where a tool and technique is used in multiple processes. Bottom-up estimating is a tool and technique used in which process or processes? Anything come to mind? The answers, estimate activity resources and estimate costs. Now let's take a look at one more. Communication methods is a tool and technique used in which processes? The answer, plan communications management manage communications, and manage stakeholder engagement. Now, the more you do this, the more it will stick. The more you take a look at it or the more you give it to a family member or a friend to test you on the tools and techniques, the more it will stick. Remember, for your PMP or CAPM exam, not only do you need to remember what the tool and technique is, you also need to remember in instances what the tool and technique is used to do. And all of this is going to help you anchor it back. Anchor it back to the processes involved. Each tool and technique needs to be anchored to the processes in order to answer those questions correctly. Okay, now to get this product, take a look at the link below. Or if you go to www.prazion.com, this comes as part of the PMP exam data flow summaries videos that you can purchase at praiseon.com. I hope this gives you an idea of how you can study tools and techniques in particular. Because as I heard from a student last year, that student said, Phil, the tools and techniques are tough. They're difficult. They're hard to remember. And that student found tools and techniques to be the most difficult. And that kind of sensitized me to looking into tools and techniques versus inputs and outputs. Inputs and outputs are quite clear cut. They're usually documents and plans. But some tools and techniques could be pretty vague. And that's why I highly recommend this book for you to dig into those ITTOs and to get them under your belt for the exam. I hope that helps. All the best and speak to you soon.